Pinterest is a visual search engine and idea board. It can help you get inspiration, plan events, and learn new skills. So in this video, we're going to cover the basics of how to set up and search for and save content on Pinterest. Howdy, my name is Devin Noel Lee with Family History Fanatics, where we teach you how to understand your DNA, climb your family tree, and write our ancestors' stories along the way. Now, since Pinterest is a place where we go to be inspired and solve problems, it'd be beneficial if we jump in and tell you how to set up an account. So let's go to Pinterest right now. Now on Pinterest, you can sign in in multiple ways. You can sign in using an email, you can sign in using your Facebook account, and you can also sign in using your Gmail account. Now I have one Pinterest board associated with my business, so I'm gonna set up very quickly an account for just my personal use. So Pinterest is super excited that I'm signing on to this account. Welcome Dino Ellie, and we go to next. Now they want you to go ahead and select um, your gender because it helps them have some statistics um, for the back end, but also to help get you a personalized experience on the platform. Um, go ahead and put in your information. So I'm in the US, but it could be kind of fun to go ahead and use some other English speaking countries. Say next, and now we're gonna go ahead and select a few of the things that we would like to appreciate. Now, one of the things that I don't like about Pinterest is being forced to pick five um, topics that we're interested in and not having anything that I'm interested in on this page. So I search and search, I look for education, I look for genealogy, I look for um, hobbies and craft, and what I'm seeing isn't really anything that inspires me, but it won't let me um, move on until I have selected something. So I guess I'm just gonna put positive quotes and I'm going to do, it's trying to be intuitive and it's not being very helpful, but see, I can't go on so I'm just gonna do just quotes, I guess. Uh, oh, there's the DIY crafts. Finally, I'm done. Okay. So they're gonna build us a feed and it's going to be a pain in the neck until we actually get things that we really like. Pinterest changes up its login system quite regularly. There used to be a way to add a save a button to your Chrome extension browser, whatever browser you're using, and it's not there. So if you look in the descriptions of this video, I'll have a link. When you put that into your Chrome browser, it allows you to add the pin save button to the top of your browser bar. So add to Chrome, add extension, and now, anytime I'm on the web, I can save to Pinterest. So this is really helpful. Once you have the um, easy way to save to Pinterest on your browser and you have it on your phone, now the fun begins. We can tune my home feed by going over dot, 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 tune home feeds. Now we're gonna go to topics. And notice it says I'm following these topics that I don't really care about. Un click them because now I'm not following them, which is really good. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do just a brief search for a couple of topics we might be interested in, in order to just turn on boards, because if we go to boards right now, it won't let us do anything. So we have to save a pin and then the magic starts happening. So I really like um, homeschooling. So I can type in homeschool. Um, curriculum and notice it tells me do you want for preschool do you want for kindergarten do you want lesson plans well let me go ahead and just put homeschool in general and see what happens ultimate list of free homeschool curriculum so now I can go ahead and hit click save on that button and Pinterest is going to suggest some board topics for me and I'm just going to go ahead and use home free homeschool curriculum and hit create. Now another topic I like is writing a family history. And here are quite a few pins that lead to blog posts and videos about writing family history. So I can click save and it will give me a list of suggestions. I am not a fan of these suggestions. 
So I'm going to do family history writing tips. I have the option of keeping this board public or secret. So let's say I am working on a surprise for somebody and I want to plan a, a, a birthday party or something. I can go ahead and make that secret. Well, I'm going to go ahead and click create. And now I have two boards. Now, if I go back to this, um, hopefully now they're telling me all sorts of topics that I can go ahead and explore. And here's my board page. Now, if I go up here and click this button right here, I can create a new board. And I have a list on my blog that will give you lots of different um, topics to help you get started if you're particularly interested in genealogy. And I'll also discuss this in the next video. But I'm going to go ahead and type genealogy research tips. I love how they always check my spelling. And I'm going to keep that um, public as well and hit create. Now, I like coming over here to create a new board because it gives me some suggestions right off the bat to add to this board to start telling Pinterest what type of content to give to me. So I have one from my friend Lisa Lewison, lots of pins from hers. Oh look, one from me, the fundamentals of a research plan. So I can click here and here and add those to done. And now I have two pins that I can go ahead and add. Um, two pins to help me remember the content that I want to look at in the future. And I really like that Pinterest then said, well, if you like that, well, maybe you like these. So we can then go and start looking for additional content that we want. A list of free genealogy sites for every state. We can go ahead and hit save. And these are going to go because we looked at these more ideas within this board, they'll save to this board rather than us going to have to select a board later. So let's just say we were looking for US census records. We're gonna go ahead and keep with the theme. And I find US census quick facts. Well, now I have to save to my board from this section, the drop down. I have to select the board that I want. So. That was a lot. So we walked through setting up an account. We talked about setting up your first boards, unfollowing the forced interests that they make you choose at the offset that I have yet to be able to get it to be accurate. But then now when you go to um, Pinterest, you're going to be starting to curate the information that you most want to see. Now let's say you want to save articles and images that you find on blog posts to Pinterest, but that's super easy if the website is set up correctly. So the first thing you can do is you can hover over an image. So let's scroll down here and see what other images. Let's say you want to add this image to your Pinterest board. Notice when I move my mouse over the image, that little red Pinterest button pops up. So I can click on that image and I can choose a board that it would relate to. So let's see if I can find my family history writing tips, including context and immigration story. I think that fits quite nicely, so I can save it there. So that's the first way. Now sometimes some blog pages have share icons on the side of their page or maybe at the top or the bottom. You can use those to share um, any image that it pulls off of the page. You can go ahead and click on that into Pinterest and go through the process. And the other place that you can use is, remember I had you add the Chrome extension um, to your browser, and now we have even more choices. I like this way the best if you come across a page where the pins aren't pinnable, because here's a Pinterest-worthy pin. So I'm gonna go ahead and click Save, and I can add that to, to my board as well. Pretty cool. So if I go back to my writing board, I'm now going to have three uh, pins to help me with my writing. If I ever want to delete one, just click on this edit icon and come down here to delete. I already have that first one, so I'm going to leave those two. I like those better. So what happens if you want to add your own pins to Pinterest because you're trying to create a storyboard for writing or you're trying to create 
an idea board for a vacation or something, well, then you can go to your boards. Um, I'm gonna put my grandma's treasures. So I took a lot of photos of my grandma's treasures. I already have one right here. And I'm going to go ahead and do create a pin. And you can add pins to Pinterest even if you don't have a link to a website or something. So I'm going to, you can drag and drop or you can click to open. I'm going to pick a, a cute little piece of wall art that my grandmother had in her home. And I can put grandma's wall art. And I can add a description talking about it. Um, but again, I don't have a link, but I can still save this to my Pinterest board. So now when I go to the board, I see the image and it looks great. So one of the things that's really cool about adding your images to Pinterest is what if you don't know much about the image? Well, when you add the image, you can click on this little icon right here and you can see more like this and notice there are some people that sell Fenton glass bell hand painted by this person that seems a little too modern um, but you can find that this is not an unusual thing vintage bell floral pink roses porcelain hand painted gold trim signed hand bell just think of the details that you can find when you're unsure about a particular topic you can upload that picture to pinterest you can hit that little magnifying glass and then you can explore now i'll show you one more little trick i'm going to go back to my boards boards i'm going to go to this one that i'll show you in another video that i created about George Geisler. Now, one of the things you can do with this, um, it shows you lots of similar vintage family photography, but sometimes you can zoom in on the face and be taken to other items. Now, you're rarely going to find the people, especially vintage photography online, but you never know what you're going to find. And maybe you're just going to find more about um, articles and style and fashion and that can help you. So enjoy. So I hope you will go ahead and set up a Pinterest account, start searching some, for some really cool um, items to save to your tree and then check out our next video which is going to be talking about how to use Pinterest more to keep yourself organized as a genealogist. When that video is released you will see it here but for now check out our other latest videos right here.